Hello there, today I'm going to make this gaming device using ESP Tor V and an OLED display. We can play different types of games on this. So let's get started with this video. First, I made a prototype on breadboard to confirm everything is working. To turn this into a good looking gaming console, I decided to make a PCB. In ECEDA, I designed the circuit. The main component or the brain of this console is this ESP 12V board. Then I included the buttons for controlling the OLED display and also I included a lithium ion battery charging circuit. After designing the circuit, I converted the circuit into a PCB. Here I made PCB like a real gaming console. So we can use this console without any extra support. After designing the PCB, our PCB looks something like this. And I downloaded the Gerber file for PCB fabrication. To fabricate PCBs, I went to jlcpcb.com. JLCPCB provides the best PCB fabrication, PCB assembly and 3D printing services for a cheap price. You can assemble your PCBs from JLCPCB to save some time and the assembly starts from $0. To order PCBs, just click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, we can select the quantity, color, thickness, etc. Here I chose the black color and select the shipping method and finally place the order. After 2 weeks, I received the PCBs from JLCPCB. Here are our PCBs. It looks nice and the quality is super. Now let's solder the components to the PCB. Here you can see the most components are SMD so I decided to go with the reflow method. So first I dispense the solder paste using a needle. Then I placed all components one by one. After placing all SMT components, I placed the PCB on my DIY hot plate. Then I heated the hot plate. After finishing that, I soldered the Type-C port. Now it's time to place the ESP 12V. Before placing and soldering, I uploaded the code to ESP8266 or ESP 12V using my programmer. You can check the programmer video. After uploading code to ESP 12V, I soldered the module to PCB. Then I added the switches and soldered. Also I added a buzzer. Finally, I added a 128 by 64 OLED display and a battery to the PCB and that's it. Now let's turn on the console and let's play the game. So the first game is the Death Hunt. This game is developed by Volos Project. The game is very simple. We can move the pointer using the left right key and we can shoot using the shoot key. Small decks have higher points than big decks. A simple but a good game.
Next is the legendary snake game. No need to explain that. You can find the code and the circuit diagram from my website. Link is in the description. Okay. So this is how I made my gaming console. We can add more games and menus to this console. I will do that later. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video.